The Taliban is in the news again, and yes, you guessed it right, not for the right reasons. In fact, they have now taken things a step further. Afghanistan's Taliban morality minister has pledged to implement a law prohibiting news media from publishing images of all living things. Yes, you are not hearing that wrong. All living things. According to the Taliban, the law applies to all of Afghanistan and it will be implemented gradually. In fact, the work of implementing this law has started in some parts of the country. Let's first tell you what this law is all about. It details several rules for news media, including banning the publication of images of all living things and ordering outlets not to mock or humiliate Islam or contradict Islamic law. In fact, on Tuesday, an official confirmed that Taliban-run media have stopped showing images of living beings in some Afghan provinces to comply with morality laws. Media in the provinces of Takhar, Medan Wardak and Kandahar have been reportedly advised not to air or show images of anything with a soul, meaning people and animals. Now, this ban is the latest in a series of moves taken by the Taliban since taking over in 2021. Taliban officials have sporadically forced business owners to follow censorship rules. These include crossing out the faces of men and women on advertisements, covering heads of shop mannequins with plastic bags, so on and so forth. Back in August this year, the Taliban reportedly banned mixed martial arts, claiming it to be too violent. This, by the way, is happening on part of the same regime which is okay with public executions and merciless stoning of women, allegedly. What gives? Also, just for context here, when the Taliban authorities seized control of the country, Afghanistan had 8,400 media employees. Only 5,100 remain in the profession. Women's voices have been banned from television and radio in Helman. This is as appalling as it gets. In fact, in a press freedom ranking compiled by Reporters Without Borders, Afghanistan has slipped from 122nd place to 178th out of 180 countries. And this is telling enough of the status of the media freedom in the country. The word freedom is already in a way not even a part of Afghan women's lives. And with this new law, what next for Afghanistan? To stay up to speed with the latest news, download the Weon app and subscribe to our YouTube channel.